What is up guys, XTX Jersey here. Alright, I just wanted to bring you guys a tutorial on the computer on how to um change the DVD key in your NAND. This is only for an RGH or JTAG because you need to be able to write the NAND back to the Xbox. So essentially this is useful if you have a mismatched drive that gives you the like play DVD air. And this is how you fix it. So what you're gonna want to do is have your drive all hooked up. And you're gonna need um, a a DVD drive like I don't know it's a card. I have the X360 USB Pro. There's an X360 USB Pro V2, but you need a device that is gonna connect to your drive and then into your computer. So then when you have that all set up, you're gonna go to Jungle Flasher, run that as an administrator. Now with Jungle Flasher, when you guys first download it you're more than likely gonna get an error and you're gonna get a couple errors saying you need to download some stuff so what you're gonna have to do is uh, download the Portio 64 driver um, if you're using the X360 USB Pro it should have it already on it but if not you're gonna have to install that and there's another error that you have to fix but um, I did some research on it and I got it fixed but um, other than that when you have it all working no errors when you load the program you're gonna wanna go to DVD key 32 and it's gonna say it's gonna list your device I have the executor x360 USB Pro <clears throat> and it's gonna probably say no drive detected so what you're going to do is then when you have your drive all hooked up you're gonna turn on your Xbox wait for it to turn on so alright my Xbox is turned on so this if you're using a fat you're gonna hit the fat key and this is gonna um give you all the details about your drive so I'm, I have a slim so I'm gonna hit slim key extract key build dummy and open so when you click that hit no for that this is gonna run here alright I'm just not I'm not gonna save any of this because it doesn't matter for me because I'm just getting the key from the drive alright hit note of that alright so here it is my drive key is right here so what you're gonna wanna do is copy this copy that alright now you're gonna minimize that alright you're gonna open up JRunner um, now you should have your NAND dumps in here your CPU key all in here <clears throat> alright from here you're gonna wanna build your image so, oh, well, actually, at first, you're gonna want to go to Z XZ Build Patches, and you're gonna enable NOFCRT Patch. That is gonna allow you to. That is gonna allow the uh, the heart, the game, or not the game. Sorry. This is gonna allow the drive to work because I did it without that once, and the game does read. But as soon as you boot up the game, it kicks you back to dashboard because that needs to be enabled. So from here you're going to go to advanced Z build options. And then right here is a DVD key. This is where you're going to enter in the DVD key that you extracted from your drive. So I'm going to paste mine in there. And then you can just hit okay. Okay. Options IE file was altered successfully. And now you're going to create your image. I have a Trinity, so I'm going to choose Trinity. <laughs> All right. So there it is. There's all your info right here. And now from there, you can just flash your uh, the image that you just made back to the Xbox. And this will allow you to play a DVD drive that isn't for the Xbox on your JTAG or RGH. So I hope you guys like the tutorial. If you have any questions about this, uh, just feel free to message me. Alright, peace out guys.